good morning i am neetu assistant professor department of mechatronics nehru college of engineering and research center pampadi today we are going to discuss about image segmentation so image segmentation is nothing but it is defined as a process of partitioning or subdividing okay it is the process of partitioning or is or subdividing an image into regions okay and subdividing an image into region regions this process is called image segmentation so of course the in, uh, input of the image segmentations are image so we can what do the what we are doing here we can extract or separate uh, separate those regions which we are interested so image segmentation is the process of partitioning or subdividing an image into its constituent regions or objects so this image segmentation approaches can be uh, the basic property the segmentation methods or algorithm are of two types for the segmentation they are based on the two basic properties of intensity value that is discontinuity and similarity okay in the method of uh, method based on discontinuity here the boundaries of image are assumed to be different from the background and unexpected changes in intensity like edges that is here the, the in this technique uh, divide an image depending upon the unexpected change in intensity okay this type of segmentation or this method is based on the uh, on the technique which divide an image depending upon its unexpected changes in in, in intensity like edges okay here the boundaries of image are assumed assumed to be different from background and the second basic property of intensity value that is the method based on similarities here this kind of method partition an image into similar region depending upon its threshold or region growing okay in this method uh, the pa partition of an image into a similar region or its re segmentation or partition can be achieved by uh, mainly focusing on its thresholding and what in a region growing okay so next comes the detection of discontinuities there are three types of discontinuities or three basic type of gray level discontinuities that is based on points lines and edges so an edge is nothing but a set of connected pixels which lies the boundary between two regions so edge detection is the common approach used for detecting transition or discontinuities in the gray level of an image okay so edge is a set of connected pixels we all know what is pixel so edge is a set of connected pixels which lie between two between Uh, between two regions okay that lie on boundary between two regions okay so it is one of the most common approach for detecting mean uh, what transition or discontinuities in the gray level there are two important edge models they are ideal edge model and ramp edge model okay ideal uh, edge model and ramp edge model first figure is the ideal model of ideal digital edge and ideal edge is a set of connected pixels in the vertical direction as shown in figure where each of the pixels is located on at an orthogonal step transition in gray level it's a set of connected pixels in the vertical direction okay so ramp edge model is nothing but it is edge model or the edge may be blurred in the figure shows that the edge may be blurred and it is due to the factors such as the quality of image acquisition system in the image uh, what segmentation we are acquiring some image no so if you are using poor camera or the uh, pixel clarity is less it will affect the acquisition so the ramp edge model or the edge may be blurred due to the quality of image acquisition system also the sampling rate 
and also the illumination conditions during image acquisition. Okay, so image uh, illumination condition that is it is above threshold or below threshold, the illumination conditions we are our applied is also determine the blurredness. This blurred images are modeled as or this blurred images are called RAM-like structures. Okay. This blurred images are called blurred-like uh, RAM-like structure that is RAM-like profile. Next comes uh, concept came as thresholding. Okay. In the figure, the TOFR for thresholding. Okay. It produces a two level image which is shown in binary image. That is this form of mapping is called point processing. That is thresholding is used to, here the figure shows the thresholding. It is used to separate the object present in an image from its background. That is used to separate the object which is present in an image from its background. Okay. Depending upon the object uh, present, it is Single thresholding as divided into single thresholding as well as multi-level threshold. Okay, so thresholding is very easy to or simple to implement and it is a process of separate the object. Okay, the object present in an image from its background. The, there is a dark light constant and this dark light that is, it is used to separate the object present in an image from its background. Okay, so if you are considering the background of an image, if you want to separate that object which is present in the background, that is threshold is the method. Okay, depending upon the object present, thresholding can be divided into single thresholding as well as multi-level thresholding. Okay, single thresholding as well as multi-level thresholding. Here so shows the uh, histogram with a single threshold. Okay, so here histogram of an image with an object on a black uh, dark background will have two dominant modes. To extract the object from its background, a threshold T. A threshold T is selected in such a way that it separates the two modes of histogram. Okay, that is if x of f of x comma y is greater than t, it is an object point, and if f of x comma y is less than or equal to t, it is a background point. That is to extract the object. Okay, to extract the object from a background, a threshold t is selected in such a way that it separates the two modes of histogram. That is single threshold. Right. So next is multi-level thresholding. In multi-level thresholding is used when two or more dominant areas are present in an histogram. So it shows the histogram with multiple thresholds. Okay. That is when two or more than two dominant areas in a, uh, present in an histogram. That is nothing but two types of objects. If only one type of object is present, then it is extract the object from the background by using single thresholding. If two types of objects are present in the dark background, then in order to separate the two objects, we have to use multi-level thresholding. Okay, that is shown in B figure, that is C1 and C2, that is consists of two objects, object 1 and object 2. If T1, okay, if T1 is less than f of x comma y, less than or equal to T2, then object class 1 is separated. And if f of x comma y is greater than T2, then object class 2 is separated. If f of x comma y less than or equal to T1, T1 what happened? Background class is highlighted. Okay, this is how this thresholding happens or the uh, separation of an image. Okay, separation of an image takes place. Types of thresholding. 